I'm feeling pretty bad as I feel and busted up my foot yesterday. It's not broken, but I think I wrenched it, sprained it pretty bad. Um, so I'm just going to have 12 of these for lunch. Well, breakfast slash lunch. Um, you get three links for two carbs. It just says heat and serve, so I'm not sure. I guess maybe you could put them in the pan, maybe, and fry them. I hope I'm right. So let me get this going, and I'll be right back. So let's try to get these sausages cooked. I'm not even sure if you add um, any type of like grease or anything. So I'm just going to put them in the pan and hope for the best. I think since they're heat and serve, they should be already cooked. But they definitely smell good. know quite yet if I'm going to make any eggs to go with it because I am seriously seriously done with eggs I can't can't do it anymore never mind all this we're trying to get the cupboards painted let me wash my hands because I have been handling meat Y'all, go to the Dollar Tree and get this. It's jasmine and mint hand soap. You will not be disappointed, I guarantee you. So, let me see. We're painting all the cupboards, so my utensils are supposed to go over here, but we can't put them in there right now because of we're painting so i have this little thing right here behind the camera that i have everything in and it's just a double freaking mess y'all i'm just trying to get a fork is her I can't move around much I'm kind of having to stand with my weight on this leg my left one and when I walk it really hurts so it takes my breath away and I get nauseous to make a long story short I slipped and fell yesterday um, very unfortunate event. I fell on a toy um, and sometimes you just have to laugh to keep from crying because initially I was laughing and then the pain in my foot set in. I literally like stepped on this toy and flew backwards. It really hurt. So my foot don't start feeling better and we'll have to go get it checked because I can't live like this. I have never made these type of sausages so I really don't know. We're just winging it. Got them from the Dollar Tree for a dollar each. Six. So we'll try them out and see how they are. Dollar Tree is full of hidden goodies. <laughs> Never mind this mess over here. It's also out of the cupboards where we're uh, painting. Oh, 
it's currently storming outside. It's um, raining, which I was praying for because in the full sun, this trailer gets hot. I, I can have my thermostat on 68 and it'll be 78 in here when the full sun's out. So I'm happy it's dark and rainy. It's a good day. It's cool in here. Um, it's been getting so hot from the sun that my son and I have been having to go next door to my mom's and see it. It's just stupid hot in here. I don't know if these are going to taste good, but they sure smell good. So, let's just throw these wrappers away. I'm having to use this little stove burner because this one over here, the big one, one big one on the whole stove and the thermostat for it tore up and my landlord will not send nobody to fix it. They've been supposed to be coming for a week or two weeks and they haven't showed up so I'll have to give them a call back it looks like. Here's what we got going. Looks pretty good so far. Make a lot um, lunch slash breakfast. This will be the first time I'm eating today, so I'm <sighs> pretty excited. I'm going to use this paper plate because I had it left over from the 4th of July. And what's the old saying? Waste not, want not. So, I'm going to use it up. I also have a few birthday plates from my son's birthday party. I'm also going to use those up. I'll see what I have to drink in here. Never mind my fridge because it has shelves that are missing and the landlord will not replace them. I think I'm going to have some Diet 7 up. in a plastic cup. I think these Cash Express cups are my calling card now. They're in a lot of my videos. Unfortunately, I've had to use them a few times now. Nice time being to um, get a loan for um, the down payment and first month's rent for this house. So they've been good, but it's hard to get out of debt with them. And I'm trying to bring my children back from Canada. They did have some um, tickets set aside from the ones that they couldn't use from before. But when we went to use them, they wanted to tack on an extra $200 to $300 per ticket. Um, this is Delta. Do not recommend. If you like them, that's fine, but they've done us wrong. So. We couldn't afford that, so the tickets have now expired, which sucks. By the way, this has like some grease coming out, so I didn't have to put anything in there. 
If these have that casing on them, I don't think I'm gonna like them. I hate that casing they put, put on those. Ugh. There was a few of you really upset because I did the mukbang in my last video. That's very unfortunate. That was one meal in my whole day. You don't know how I ate that day. You don't know what I ate that day. So I don't feel like you have a right to judge me on my food because it was semi-healthy for the way I eat. And you're trying to say it's unhealthy? Um... The tortillas I used were low carb, carb counter ones. Cheese is on my plan. Meat is on my plan. Pickles, they're okay. They, they literally have like maybe five calories. So I don't know what the big deal of me doing a mukbang is about because you can do a mukbang and not eat 30,000 calories. And, um, I'm a very, very big lady, and I didn't eat that much, but yet we get these skinny mukbangers, and they're eating um, 10,000 calories in one video, and I don't see them getting half as much hate. It's because I'm fat, and you're discriminating me. You don't know nothing about me. So if you want to go ahead and unsubscribe, go ahead and do it because this is my channel. I'll show what I want. I'll do what I want as long as it's within the guidelines, which it is. So just go ahead and unsubscribe so that I don't make you unhappy anymore, okay? Because I'm done with that whole game. Oh, my foot's tingling. I think these are done. I think if I cook them anymore, they're going to be burnt. So. I'm going to go ahead and get them off. Let's hope I like these, you guys. <laughs> really don't have anything else that I'm interested in right now. So, this is what they look like. Let me dump them, probably. So, yeah. There we go. Let me take you over here where I'm going to eat, and I'll be right back. Alright, you guys. I am back, and let's try these. Let me see if I can give you a better view. I'm also trying to keep my head right here. As we have lots. Big ones. Mmm. Those are good. Yes, I am going to eat them all. <laughs> Definitely worth a dollar. But I'm going to see if I can get these um, somewhere else cheaper. Because I may be able to get a bigger pack. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah.
so. What can we talk about today? I got some, I got some <clears throat> very upsetting news yesterday. There's a gynecologist um, that every woman loves. He's the best. And I got word yesterday that he, um, I think he had a heart attack. And he's not doing too well. I don't think he's expected to survive. And... I loved him so much. He delivered my daughter um, back in 1996. I guess I just want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I was a teenage mom. I got pregnant when I was 16. I had her when I was 17. And he never made me feel down about that. It was never even mentioned or brought up how young I was. He treated me like the next person in his office. I had a long, hard pregnancy, though. I contracted that stuff where you have high blood pressure and swelling in the end. For whatever reason, right now the name of it is escaping me. He was a very awesome doctor. He really took care of me. Um, the only problem was with my daughter is my water broke and I lost my mucus plug when I left his office. Um, I had went into Food City and he had examined me prior so when we called him or his office, when we called his office they said that it's normal you know to lose the mucus plug up to a few weeks um, before you give birth but they didn't seem to believe me that my water had broke. so. What happened is my water had been broke too many days. My daughter got into distress and passed meconium and ingested it into her lungs. So when she was born, she had pneumonia and had to spend like a week in the NICU. But overall, he's well loved and he delivered Theodore and he gave me an awesome C-section, I couldn't have asked for a better doctor. He um, had a special bariatric bed brought in for when I had Theodore. And he gave me an awesome C-section. And at my size, it's very iffy. But I made it through all that. Um, one memory I have when I had Theodore is I was wanting to go home. I had been there four days or something. He didn't let me go because my drain was still draining fluid. And this bed, bless his heart, he had this special bariatric, bariatric big bed brought in. And I had the awfulest time trying to roll in and out of this bed with my incision. And I knew that a regular bed holds me. So, because I had been in the hospital before. So when he came in to do his, you know, 
because I took a fit on him because I wanted to go home. I wanted to go home. He said, no, I have to keep you at least one more day. So I took the awfulest fit on him. I crossed my arms and I said, I said, if you're going to keep me here, you're at least going to get me a normal bed. So he did. He, he had them bring back in the normal bed. And that all was good. Sorry, you guys. I kept getting a phone call. I answered it and I'm back. But yeah, he, he brought back in my normal bed and we were all good then. Um, back in um, 2009, I lost a baby and he took care of me then. He took very good care of me. I just hated to hear that he's not doing too good and apparently they're telling patients to find another doctor so I hope he makes it and I hope he doesn't pass away maybe he just is not going to go back to work but the family hasn't really released what's going on yet but I hope it's just a matter that he's not going back to work So yeah, I, I'm kind of down about that today. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Another thing that's been going on is my mom's car got stolen right out of the driveway. And the scary part, the person was lurking like right behind her when she had came out to her car and went back in the house. They had to be standing behind her somewhere. My poor mom held out hope that her car was going to come back undamaged and stuff. But when they found the car abandoned, the people had put junk in it to the ceiling almost I mean and they had painted it with like a paintbrush and white and black paint my mom said she wasn't even going to bother with it because the oil stick was bone dry I mean they had to abandon it for a reason right And, um, the tow service is going to charge her $165 to even get the car back. And the tow service pretty much admitted that the car is just done. <laughs> So she told them that they could have the car in exchange for, you know, her tow bill. It makes me sad and angry that people will come along and just take something that somebody has worked hard to get. Like my mom raked and scraped to get this car. And people can just come by and take it. sad situation all done the only thing about them that I don't like the taste is good and if they have a casing I didn't notice it um, but they're salty really salty
Back in my last mukbang when I ate the burritos, I had said bad stuff was going on. Well, that's one of them about my mom's car. And then a couple of days ago, my car was totaled, completely totaled. It's not drivable anymore. It's just trash. So, that's the way it goes, I guess. Anyways, you guys, I have bored you for a long, long, long time, so I'm going to um, end this video and get it uploaded for you guys, and I will definitely be posting my bathing suit video soon. I just um, don't know where to film it. I mean, I have a room I use back in that hallway that I film in but a bathing suit video has always been to me like be outside in the sun you know I don't know I'll probably still do the trial and just do it in that room because as you all know I moved into a trailer park and um, my mom's in front of here her house you just cross the yard and there's a uh, man that lives right here right behind me where I'm filming and then it's I'm just surrounded so I don't think that's going to happen in this trailer park there's already been crazy stuff going on I'm a country girl so I'm starting to see the reality of city living like I never seen the likes y'all like I don't even know what to do with half of these situations my mom's been in the city for about six months, so she's used to all this stuff now, but this stuff has me seriously anxiety-ridden, like, I cry at night. <laughs> I, I'm starting to see how bad the world is when I got out of um, the mountains, come to the city. It is so bad. There's so much going on. Like, your girl was so traumatized when I was going out the door a couple of days ago and the sheriff roared into my driveway asking questions about a man that had escaped. I was stuttering. I couldn't even answer. And I'm deaf in one ear anyway, so I couldn't hear half of the questions. He wasn't getting out of the car because he was hot on the trail of this guy. And I'm like... I froze up like I can't do it but I managed to answer his questions they finally found the guy like yesterday but the fact that this guy was loose in this trailer park it's crazy like I keep Theodore in my sight all the time and when he's not with me he's with my daughter and she keeps a strict eye on him as well he don't go out alone ever he is not allowed out alone and we're taking safety precautions you know no no being out after dark or really early in the morning my uh, mom, my mom's car got taken about 11 o'clock in the morning right in broad daylight so and the caretaker lives right in front of her but he was gone so sucks anyways I've bored you guys long enough I'm going to end this video and I'm going to be back with my swimsuit video thank you guys so so much for watching and sticking with my boring self I know I'm boring but I love all y'all thank you guys for all the support and just viewing my videos it's, it's great um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care and have a good weekend because we're about to go into the weekend.